Well, buckle up for the split. I'm going to talk about something today because because I have some questions for you and I have a little test for you to take that will determine where you really are in your belief system about your power, about what's going to happen, about the split, and where you are within that. Are you ready for this? I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's go. Andrea Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. You can do it right now. You can do that in any circumstances. There are no rules. Now I want to share something with you because I want to get right to this. There is a big split happening. We have lived lives that have perpetuated and created and are always creating our reality, individually and as a collective. There are people right now in the worst of circumstances in awakened states that have never felt more wonderful, euphoric, and hopeful. And there's others who see the world going to you-know-what in handbasket, and they're thinking that this is just how it is. Now, you may be somewhere in between there, but I'm going to just ask you some questions because there's a huge split going on. I want you to buckle up because it's not about what's happening out there. It's going to affect you directly. In fact, I see it already happening. Why? Because now I'm watching people come in from the transition of all the challenges our planet's having and going into fear and some beliefs about our future that I want you to understand better right now because it is all amazing. Now, I'm going to share with you a couple of things and I'm going to ask you some questions about the split and where you are within it. Our future is absolutely being created at every moment. Now, someone said uh, the uh, the tablets, the Ten Commandments, you know, must have been you know given by somebody you know on a lower level because God, you know, gives us free will, and that's not free will. Thou shalt. Well, what happens and what's been happening, and it's happening now on our planet, is that there are so many people that are lost, that are not on the level of understanding of what's available to them. And back then, they needed guidelines, and that's all that was, because they had a belief that there was something outside of them telling them what to do. And so when they were given positive guidelines of things that could help society maybe pull out of some cray-cray stuff, they could choose it or not, but they never lost their free will. So the subscriber that mentioned that, no one loses their free will. Even if somebody says God wrote something, sometimes we're given guidelines. Right now, we have guidelines showing up. We have always been creating everything that's happened to us. Now, here's what I want to ask you right now. Are you still in separation? Are you still arguing? Do you still have beliefs that you think are absolutely just how things are? I'm seeing comments coming over on my channel that I've never seen before that are really surprising. People seeing the worst in each other. People hearing things from me that I never said. And if you went back and watched my videos, there are things in there that maybe you wanted to hear or you're in a state of mind and you already made up your mind about something. We do that all the time. Before somebody even says something, you've already made up your mind about what they're doing. And then they end up saying something completely different. We're not listening to one another. We're not seeing the best in one another. Now, somebody said that they, I always talk about this. You, faith is faith. You can't go and be sort of pregnant or sort of have faith. you got to be in it 100%. That's tough right now, but that's the split. And what does that mean? You've got to hold fast because the things that we've done out there that have created our health issues and our financial issues and our conflict, we have created that because we have gone and continued to go into separation and blame. Now, somebody said, uh, I, can, I, you know, I can forgive. Yes, I can love. I can forgive, but not the the child abuser. And 
my answer was, then don't forgive. It's your choice. But the response back was very surprising. So you, my, my subscriber, can you read that again? I said, then don't. It's your choice. Saying it, in other words, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not here to preach what you should do. I'm giving you my ideas and thoughts that can hopefully expand you into another arena that may be outside of the confines of what we've been told. That doesn't mean I'm right. No one person has all the answers. We're not on that level. Somebody said, uh, made a comment, well, you know, then who, if there's, if God's all things and there are multi-universes, then who created God? And who created that, that created God? That created, and we're so, so my answer to you, whoever said that, is you're still thinking of a beginning and end. Nobody has to create God. God is everything. It is everything. And all multi-universes with no time. You're still thinking of a creation that is separate, that has a start and a finish. You're still thinking of time. And so that doesn't exist outside of these bodies. So there is a creator that is all things, that always was, always shall be, and is always existing all at the same moment. Everything that has ever happened, is happening, and ever will exist right now. We get to pick and choose the experience that we have within that. We are the eyes and the experience of the creator. Now, I know that's a tough one, but we have got to, if we want to, stop struggling, go into oneness. Now, that is tough. It's tough to say, how can I love the child abuser? Then don't. Don't forgive them. But you know what? That is your choice, and you can't make a mistake. And the answer to you, my friend, is you can't make a mistake. If you're not ready to do that, then don't. But there's a split happening right now. And if we don't forgive, if we don't go into oneness, then who's going to forgive us for all the crazy stuff that we do and think and the judgment? Who's going to forgive us? You must give that which you decide you would like to receive, not out of wanting something, but because you don't want something. And if you, we were talking about this the other day, my friend, I said, you know what? When you desire something, you have to have something as the ego speaking. You'll always be disappointed. No one's ever going to believe or think the way you do or you want them to, and that is separation. So when I see the comments coming over, telling me, I can tell you don't read the Bible, Andrea. I said I don't read the Bible, and I will never read the Bible. Well, never, never say never, right? Maybe there'll be a time I do. But I know that too many people have been involved in that journey along the way. And I know humans have used it to manipulate others. We know that because we have found all kinds of scrolls now that have not been included in the Bible. I don't have those answers. But I know when I read something that says, the one created goodness, and evil, created everything, then uh, uh, that's all I need to hear. And by the way, the reason I came up with that quote that I gave in one of my videos, that God basically created everything, including evil, was because I actually looked it up. Is there anything in the Bible that says that the one, the source, created everything, including evil? And sure enough, it did. So I pulled that one out just to get you to think just to get you to think. And so I see this, the comments coming over are separation, correction. This is how things are. This is what the Bible means. None of us has that answer. But I do know one thing. When I saw that uh, scripture, that uh, statement in the Bible, it rang true for me. It doesn't have to ring true for you. The split's happening right now. We're either going to hang on to our conditioned thoughts and beliefs as human beings that are very limited and then that's still separation that somebody's wrong oh by the way it's just really hot here in in, in Florida my air conditioning I just put it on the the thoughts in the separation that are created by you believing that what your belief is is the way things should be will create more separation and struggle and conflict. It has to, because there's somebody else who believes just as strongly about what how things are. And so that creates conflict, struggle, um, horrible things that we do to one another because we just don't see or respect the differences or the diversity. 
And I think we're getting there. I really do. I think the Great Awakening now, I, you know, I, I have a lot of videos on the Great Reset. I'm, I'm through quant the quantum field reacts exactly to what we put into it. It doesn't judge or think or decide if you deserve something or not. Only you're doing that. The one that's granting you something is you because you are the creative arm of the one. So I'm trying to remove that middleman for you to think about, if you choose, if that makes sense. Wow, wait a second, there's no, I'm praying, praying, praying for something to happen that they're going to do. Praying, you're praying, you're directly affecting it. It works, prayer works. You're directly placing positive thoughts into something. You're directly loving everyone no matter what they've done because they're coming from fear and hurt and anger themselves and they're not in a space yet to rise above that or know the difference. So unless you show them the difference and give them an option and know that they're still absolutely perfect but they've made some very negative choices, nothing will change unless we go into that space and it's the toughest one. So that is yours and my challenge is can you go into that space of compassion anyways? Not approval. I'm going to say that over and over again. I'm not saying approval. And by the way, you're allowed your opinion. Judgment is when you say somebody somebody is wrong. Now somebody said, uh, we're upset with me when I said it was really sad that this homeless person had a list of things for us uh, as a neighborhood to give them. And one was an Xbox. I said it was ridiculous. And what? not judging the person. I know that person comes from a different way of thinking and believing. It was ridiculous that we're in a world where gaming outlets are what give us comfort. We're not there yet when we have to escape into worlds that are actually quite violent. And so again, I absolutely not judging that person. My opinion is that that is a ridiculous space for us as the most powerful beings to have to still go into it. And so maybe ridiculous didn't sit right with you. That's okay. I'm allowed to choose my own words. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not a guru or some spiritual person that has all the answers. I do know certain things. I'm going to tell you the three things that I was told in a super awakened state, and it was so clear, so clear. And you have access to this too, if you get out of the way. This is why I teach Breakthrough Fear. I help you to get out of the way so that you get clarity straight into that, those beautiful positive thoughts that as a human being that's fearful doesn't make sense. The three things. Number one, everything is one thing happening. This is exactly how it was stated. Everything is one thing happening. Everything is one thing happening, not a bunch of things happening. It's one thing happening. There is no such thing as time. There is no such thing as time. It doesn't exist. Everything is one thing. All right? So everything is one thing happening. So all of these things that are happening at the same time are just one thing happening. We can't wrap our heads around that. So this is why as human beings we're trying to explain everything. It's not possible. We can't comprehend it. That's why someone, a uh, subscriber said, you know, there's God. And well, who created God? Because you can't comprehend as a human that there was never any beginning nor will there be an ending to this power and that it transforms and is everything. There's nothing that can create it because it is that thing. Right? We can't go into that space so we shouldn't even try because it's not comprehensible in a human body because we have density here. All right? We're not capable of thinking on that level unless you go into a super awakened state and even then we don't have the answers. But we don't want them. We don't need them. We don't have to have them because we're enjoying being humans and having this experience and that's good enough. Are you enjoying being a human and having this experience? The split is exactly that. 
if you are still battling all of these things, if you are still seeing somebody else as an enemy, having to chastise somebody and call them wrong, why, why, why? We can have our opinions. Can we come together? And whatever you believe about whether it's the Bible or the planet or forgiveness, we don't have to go into conflict with one another. Can we just share ideas? And frankly, I don't even care to share those ideas half the time. If it causes conflict, if somebody's looking for an argument, they will. And I get people on my channel that all they want to do is find something wrong with what somebody says and correct them and be an expert. And they don't even see their own ego getting in the way, and we all have it. It's all there. Even the Dalai Lama, he gets angry. He stated that. I get angry, I just don't do anything with it. So I want you to know that none of us is exempt from it. It's how we handle it. You will have fear. You will have doubts. You will have anger. You will have all those things. It's your reaction to it that determines your awakened state. Your reality, whatever you believe is, is true. So those of you who believe that murderers or child abusers should never be uh, receive love or compassion or forgiveness, you're, it's okay for you to go into that space. That will be the reality that you live in but it will be a world that doesn't forgive. If you do things just too far, then there's no forgiveness. So you can't have faith. You can't claim to have faith. So you have to make a decision. And if you're not ready to do that, that's okay. You'll get there. Everyone gets there. So the split is a choice right now for every one of us to say, am I going to go into the, all the things that are hitting us uh, freedom's being taken away and that's wrong and that's wrong and that's wrong is not whether it's right or wrong but how we're going to react to it if we create the new earth or if we go back into just telling everybody how they should run the world instead of running it ourselves on a new level that excludes no one that allows everyone choices but there will be no tolerance of the lower behaviors. In other words, we have to give the solutions and be there for that. We can't sit on our chairs and be critics all day long. Sorry, I'm launching a new company. You guys have asked about this. Uh, spiritually Conscious Businesses. That is coming out this year. So you know I have internet companies. And so my choice is if I'm going to help people to flourish and use the internet to do that, we have to make very wise choices as to how we treat one another and our planet, how we earn money, integrity, the products we use, all of it that's coming out, I promise you, this year. So if you have something you want to be included in that, you'll get an announcement. If you're in Manifest Anything that's free, you'll hear about all of these things and you can participate and become a part of the solutions. This is the great split. The Great Reset for me, when I place that into the quantum field, that that word isn't a negative one anymore, those, that, those two words, or the three words, the Great Reset, I see it as something. It's a great reset. It's an opportunity for us to reset, recalibrate where we've been, and reset the foundations, not the way somebody in government has said it should be. Same old, same old but a new way where all, all people have some say and not sheeps that all have to act and behave the same way or believe what one person believes. But they get to choose and that others will respect that and celebrate the changes, the thoughts, the differences, the diversity. Celebrate it. Can we celebrate it? If you do not go into that space, you are still in conflict you are still in density, you are in separation. It's not faith. You're either there or you're not. This is going to test you unlike any other time on this planet. Why? Because we've created on and oh, we pooped in our own nest, right? And so we have to clear it out. we got to bring in new materials, clean out the old stuff, and not allow that to happen again. And so we are totally responsible for this cleanup. And it's going to be the greatest amazing thing that could happen for you. You get to be a part of the amazing shift 
on the planet, it's not a bad thing. It's not something to fear. You don't have to fear what's going to happen. You are indestructible. This body is not you. It's an experience that you chose. And everything that's happened in your life has been your teaching and your test. And not to blame somebody else for, uh, you know, inflicting things on you, but saying, I don't know why, or but I do know that the one doesn't make mistakes and that I am the one happening, the one thing happening, knowing itself on every level, in every frequency, in every creation, and that I also am the one that has the power to change it. And that is our assignment here is to take us out of the density. We've been there long enough. This split cannot happen without you, but you can choose where you go within it. And if you continue to reside in the uh, shame and blame and victims and pointing fingers and, you know, somebody said uh, they were upset, <laughs> people get upset with me, they interpret things in the worst possible way when that's not at all what I meant. Can you see the best in somebody? Can you look and listen to a statement and say, you know, how can I see this? And when people get angry at you, can you see it as hurt striking out, fear striking out, somebody who's lost? Can you see that? Listen, really listen to people. Then you'll hear what's going on in here. This is the great split, the great shift. We're not going back, so don't think that there's anything we're going to go back to. That's a good thing. We've been in density. We're coming out. You get to choose. And how you see this, even if it's painful, could be the most amazing reality shift ever in your life. You can still experience the human uh, feelings and the anger, the loss, all these things, and still be in an awakened state. Awakening means awareness and a higher level reaction to things and no reacting to those things that are on the lower density but seeing past it. If you'd like to get Manifest Anything, I have a new series coming out. Tap into Your Power is coming out May 1st. And Breakthrough Fear is my five-star course that I have a discount on right now. If you don't come in and do that, that's fine. Do it, whatever you're ready for, or whatever teacher speaks to you. It may not be me. I'm okay with that. It's called diversity. And whoever speaks to you, whether it's Dolores Cannon, who doesn't claim to be, never claimed to be a spiritual teacher, but demonstrated how you can open up your mind to things that seem cray cray, but aren't because there are no limits. There are no limits to dimensions or creation or anything else. How can there be? And or somebody like um, uh, uh, Abraham Hicks, who people will criticize. And I said, you know, if the message speaks to you and it's a positive one, and it's not taking you into fear or conflict or telling you that there's evil whatever out there, if you're not listening to that, then that's not a bad space. That's not a bad place to be. If you're listening to anybody who places you in conflict and taking sides, it is of a lower density. It is. And especially if you're speaking about, you know, anything, other life forms, it's a lower density. We know that there is a conflict here on the planet. We know there are people doing some really bad, right? We already know that. This happens throughout the universe. Why would you need to focus on that? Be the change maker. This is happening now. You participate or you stand by and you keep complaining, criticizing, and finding enemies. It's your choice. It's not mine. Like I said, you can't make a mistake, but you can choose right now to shift into something amazing sooner than later in our false sense of time. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to continue to talk about this because we don't have any more time to uh, mess around because there are physical things created on this planet that do have limitations within the rules that we created in the matrix. Um, you guys know that this, these are free videos in my series for creating online businesses and you could create any business that could reach people all over the globe with positive messages, 
will show you how to take any idea, any product, anything, place it online and get it in front of the right people. Hopefully you're going to do something that's going to be very positive. It's, it's your choice. All right, and manifest anything's down below. I hope that you'll subscribe. Is it over here? I hope that you'll subscribe and share my videos and let people know that we're totally in control of our future, 100%. 100%. Yeah, it's a, a joint uh, and collective uh, participation. Nobody's doing anything to you. So whatever happens collectively, you're totally responsible for your actions, reactions, thoughts, all of it. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.